So I have here a model of what it's a bit like inside a conductor. Now in the conductor we have all of these charged particles which are free to move around. And what these can do is these can therefore move around uh, and flow as an electric current uh, and transfer energy around a circuit. So this is very much what we uh, see when we look at a conductor. And what I can give is a number to the amount of these particles which are free to move. And I'm going to call that number N. But we also have materials where these charge carriers are kind of locked into the atomic structure and they're not free to move. These things here are kind of stuck within this. And what we have here is something where the actual density of these charge carriers which are free to move is very low. And I'm going to give this a very low N number. It's got very few things which can transfer charge and therefore this thing is an insulator. But there's also this kind of middle ground. What we have are some things where we have uh, maybe a few of these uh, charge carriers which are free to move. Um, but the other charge carriers are sort of locked into the, into the structure. But what we can do is we can liberate these charge carriers by applying some external force or some kind of external energy. And um, a good example of that is a thermistor. So a thermistor, when you apply heat to it, what this does is it allows these electrons to escape uh, the kind of places where they're locked in. And then that means the number of charge carriers increases. And therefore this thing becomes a better conductor when the heat goes up. So that's a thermistor. We also have uh, something where maybe rather than giving it energy in the form of heat, we could maybe give it energy in the form of light. And here we have some light which is coming in. And again, this light, uh, the photons of light can come in and they can cause these electrons to escape and increase the number of uh, charge carriers available. Uh, and this is an example of something maybe like an LDR. So what we have here is something called a semiconductor. Sometimes it's very good at conducting, sometimes it isn't. And what we can do is basically give it more energy to liberate more charge carriers. And therefore the number N is going to be somewhere between the conductor and the insulator.